Have you ever gazed at the night sky and wondered what secrets lie hidden in the vastness above us? Despite the incredible progress science has made, there are still mysteries in the universe that baffle even the brightest minds. Questions about how it all began, what keeps it going, and what might come next continue to challenge our understanding. The universe is a place of extremes, from massive stars that dwarf our sun to particles so tiny they're almost unimaginable. Yet, for all our progress in exploring these extremes, there are still gaps in what we know. These gaps aren't just small holes in our knowledge. They're vast chasms. For example, do we really understand how the universe started? What existed before the Big Bang? Scientists have theories, but these theories only push the mystery further back. Then there are the phenomena we see but can't explain, like fast bursts of energy or objects in space that behave in unexpected ways. How do we even begin to unravel these puzzles? Is it enough to rely on telescopes and equations? Or is there something we're missing in the way we approach these questions? The answers may be out there, but finding them requires us to ask the right questions. Let's start with one of the biggest questions. Where did it all begin? If the universe started with the Big Bang, what caused it? The theory tells us the universe was once incredibly small, hot, and dense. But why did it explode into what we see today? Was there a spark? Was it inevitable? Some scientists suggest there was nothing before the Big Bang. But can nothing really exist? Others propose that the universe could be part of an endless cycle of expansions and contractions, like a cosmic heartbeat. If that's true, how many times has this happened? Could it happen again? Another mystery ties directly to our attempts to understand the universe's early moments, the concept of inflation. Inflation suggests that the universe expanded faster than the speed of light for a fraction of a second after the Big Bang. But what triggered this rapid expansion? Why did it stop? And perhaps most intriguingly, is there evidence of other inflated regions beyond what we can see? The universe we observe today is only a fraction of the full picture. Telescopes give us glimpses of the distant past, but the earliest times remain hidden. There is a period called the Dark Ages of the Universe when the first stars hadn't yet formed and there was no visible light. How do we study a time when light itself didn't exist? We rely on indirect evidence like cosmic microwave background radiation. This faint glow comes from the early universe and contains clues about its first moments. But even this radiation has anomalies, patterns we can't fully explain. Are these patterns random or do they point to something deeper? Every time we answer one question, it seems like two more take its place. For instance, the idea that the universe is expanding faster than expected led to the discovery of dark energy. Dark energy is thought to make up most of the universe, but we don't know what it is. It's a term we use to describe something unknown. What could dark energy really be? The mysteries don't stop with the large-scale structure of the universe. Even the smallest particles challenge us. At the quantum level, particles behave in ways that defy common sense. How does this connect to the larger universe? Does the strange behavior of quantum particles hold the key to understanding the cosmos, or is it just another layer of complexity? As we explore these questions, one thing becomes clear. The universe is both stranger and more wonderful than we ever imagined. It's not just a collection of stars, planets, and galaxies. It's a place of constant motion and change.
where forces we don't fully understand shape everything we see and much we can't. But understanding the universe isn't just about looking outward. It's also about looking inward. How do we fit into this vast puzzle? Are we just observers or do we play some role in the universe's story? Could the act of observing the universe change what we see? These questions aren't just for scientists. They're for anyone who's ever wondered why we're here, how it all began, and what might come next. The mysteries of the universe belong to all of us, and each mystery is an invitation to learn more. In this video, we'll explore some of the greatest unanswered questions about the universe. These are the puzzles that keep scientists awake at night. Some are new, emerging from the latest discoveries. Others have been around for decades, resisting every attempt to solve them. So, as we dive into these mysteries, let's keep asking questions. Because, in the end, every question brings us closer to understanding the universe and our place within it. Where did everything come from? This is one of the biggest questions humans have ever asked. The universe, with its galaxies, stars, and planets, had a beginning. But what happened before that beginning? Scientists call this the Big Bang, but even the term Big Bang doesn't fully explain what happened. The Big Bang wasn't an explosion in space. It was the rapid expansion of space itself. At some point, about 13.8 billion years ago, everything we see today was packed into a space smaller than an atom. Then, in a fraction of a second, it started expanding. But why did it expand? What caused this moment? Some theories suggest that before the Big Bang, there was nothing. But this idea is hard to understand. What does nothing really mean? If there was nothing, where did the energy and matter for the universe come from? Did the universe come from something we can't yet detect? Others suggest that the Big Bang wasn't the true beginning. Instead, it might have been one event in an endless cycle. According to this idea, the universe expands, collapses, and then starts again. This means there could have been countless universes before ours. If that's true, how many cycles have there been? One of the biggest puzzles about the Big Bang is what happened in the first few moments. In those moments, the universe grew incredibly fast, faster than the speed of light. Scientists call this inflation. But why did inflation happen? What caused the universe to expand so quickly? And why did it stop? To make things even stranger, we can only see part of the universe. The part we can observe is limited by the speed of light. Light takes time to travel, so when we look far away, we're seeing the past. But there's a limit to how far we can see. This means there could be regions of the universe beyond what we can observe regions that might never be visible to us. Could there be other universes beyond our own? Inflation theory suggests this might be possible. If inflation created our universe, it might have also created others. These other universes could have different physical laws and constants. Some might have no stars or galaxies. Others might be completely empty. But how do we prove this? If we can't see these other universes, how do we know they exist? Scientists look for indirect evidence. They study patterns in the cosmic microwave background, a faint glow left over from the early universe. This glow contains information about the universe's first moments. The cosmic microwave background isn't smooth. It has tiny variations in temperature. 
These variations tell us about the early structure of the universe, but some patterns don't match what we expect. Could these strange patterns be evidence of another universe interacting with ours? Or are they simply random? Another puzzle is the time before stars formed. This period is called the Cosmic Dark Ages. During this time, the universe was filled with gas, but no light. Without light, it's almost impossible to observe what happened. How did the first stars form in this dark era? The first stars were very different from the stars we see today. They were massive and burned through their fuel quickly. These stars created the first heavy elements, which were necessary for planets and life to form. But where did these first stars come from? It's hard to imagine a time without galaxies, stars, or planets. But this is how the universe began. The gas in the early universe was almost uniform, with only tiny differences in density. Over time, gravity pulled the denser regions together, forming the first structures. But why were there differences in density in the first place? Even the gas itself is a mystery. The early universe was mostly hydrogen and helium. Where did these elements come from? Scientists believe they were created in the first few minutes after the Big Bang. But why only these elements? And why in these specific amounts? As the universe expanded, it cooled. This cooling allowed atoms to form. Atoms are the building blocks of matter. Without them, there would be no stars, no planets, and no life. But why did the universe cool in just the right way to allow atoms to form? Every discovery about the universe's origins leads to more questions. For example, why does the universe look the same in all directions? This uniformity is surprising. It suggests that different regions of the universe were once in contact. But if these regions were moving away from each other at faster than light speeds during inflation, how could they have communicated? This puzzle is known as the horizon problem. Scientists try to solve it with inflation theory. They suggest that before inflation, the universe was small enough for all regions to interact. But this explanation raises another question. What caused inflation to begin? Some scientists propose that inflation was caused by a special type of energy. This energy, called inflation field, is hypothetical. We've never observed it directly. If it exists, where did it come from? Did it have a beginning, or has it always been there? Even the shape of the universe is a mystery. Is it infinite, or does it have an edge? If it's infinite, how did it become that way? If it has an edge, what lies beyond it? Current observations suggest the universe is flat on large scales. But what does flat mean in this context? The more we learn about the universe's origins, the more complicated the picture becomes. Each question leads to more questions. For instance, what role did dark matter play in the early universe? Dark matter doesn't emit light, so we can't see it. But its gravity affects the motion of galaxies. Did dark matter help form the first structures in the universe? And what about dark energy? If dark energy is causing the universe to expand faster today, did it play a role in inflation? Are dark energy and inflation field connected? Or are they completely separate phenomena? The origins of the universe are a puzzle with many pieces. Some pieces fit together, but others don't. Scientists use models and simulations to test their ideas. They tried to recreate the conditions of the early universe, but these models are limited by our current knowledge. We've come a long way in understanding the universe's beginnings. But there's still so much we don't know. What triggered the Big Bang? 
What came before it? What role did dark matter and dark energy play? These are questions we continue to explore. The story of the universe's origins is far from complete. It's a story of questions, puzzles, and mysteries. And as we seek answers, we uncover even more fascinating questions about the cosmos. Have you ever thought about what holds galaxies together? Stars and galaxies move at incredible speeds. Based on their mass, they should fly apart, but they don't. Why? Something invisible is keeping them together. Scientists call it dark matter. Dark matter doesn't emit light. It doesn't reflect light, and it doesn't absorb light. This means we can't see it, but its presence can be detected because of its gravitational effects. For example, when scientists measure the speed of stars orbiting in galaxies, the speeds don't match the amount of visible mass. There must be extra, unseen mass. What is dark matter made of? Scientists aren't sure. It might be a type of particle we haven't discovered yet. Some think it could be weakly interacting massive particles, or WIMPs. Others suggest axions, which are extremely light particles. Both are just theories, though, because no one has directly observed these particles. Dark matter forms halos around galaxies. These halos are regions where dark matter is more concentrated. They affect how galaxies form and evolve. Without dark matter, galaxies might never have formed. But why does dark matter gather in halos? And why doesn't it form stars or planets like regular matter? If dark matter is invisible, how do scientists study it? They use methods like gravitational lensing. This happens when a massive object bends light from a distant source. By studying the light's distortion, scientists can estimate the mass of the object. Sometimes, the mass calculated is much larger than the visible matter. This extra mass is attributed to dark matter. Another method is studying the cosmic microwave background. This radiation shows patterns in the early universe. These patterns reveal how matter was distributed. The data suggests that most of the matter in the universe is dark matter. But why is there so much more dark matter than normal matter? What about dark energy? While dark matter holds things together, dark energy does the opposite. It pushes the universe apart. Scientists discovered that the universe is expanding faster over time. This was unexpected. They thought gravity would slow the expansion. Instead, it's speeding up. Dark energy is thought to be responsible for this acceleration. But what is it? Like dark matter, dark energy is not directly observable. It's a name given to explain the unknown force causing this phenomenon. Is it a property of space itself? Some scientists think so. Others believe it could be a new field or particle. Dark energy makes up about 68% of the universe, while dark matter makes up about 27%. That means visible matter, everything we can see, is only about 5% of the universe. Why is the universe made up this way? Could there be more forms of matter or energy we haven't discovered yet? One idea is that dark energy might be related to the vacuum of space. Even empty space isn't truly empty. It has energy. This is called vacuum energy. Could dark energy be linked to this vacuum energy? If so, why is its effect so strong over large distances, but weak on small scales? Dark energy also creates questions about the universe's fate. If it continues pushing galaxies apart, 
Will it eventually tear them apart? Some theories suggest this could happen in a scenario called the Big Rip. In this scenario, the expansion becomes so fast that even atoms are pulled apart. Could dark matter and dark energy be connected? Some theories suggest they might come from the same fundamental force or particle. If true, understanding one might help us understand the other. But so far, no evidence links them directly. There are also alternative ideas. Some scientists think dark matter and dark energy don't exist. Instead, they propose modifying the laws of gravity. These modified theories aim to explain the same phenomena without introducing new substances. But these ideas have their own challenges. One mystery about dark matter is why it doesn't interact with regular matter. Normal matter interacts through forces like electromagnetism. This allows us to see and touch it. Dark matter seems to interact only through gravity. Why doesn't it interact in other ways? Some experiments are designed to detect dark matter particles. Scientists build underground detectors to shield them from other particles. These detectors are extremely sensitive, yet so far, no dark matter particle has been found. Why is it so hard to detect? Another method is searching for dark matter in space. Colliding galaxies and other cosmic events may reveal clues. For example, the bullet cluster is a pair of colliding galaxy clusters. Observations suggest that dark matter separated from the visible matter during the collision. How does this separation occur? While dark matter holds galaxies together, it also creates questions about how galaxies behave. For example, simulations show that galaxies with dark matter should have specific shapes. Yet some observed galaxies don't match these shapes. Why do these differences exist? On the largest scales, dark energy shapes the universe. Observations show that galaxies are moving away from each other at increasing speeds. This means space itself is stretching. What causes space to stretch? Dark energy might also affect the universe's geometry. Measurements suggest the universe is flat on large scales. This flatness might be linked to dark energy. But why would dark energy cause a flat universe? Another puzzle is how dark energy has changed over time. In the early universe, dark energy had little effect. Gravity dominated and galaxies formed. As the universe expanded, dark energy became more influential. Why did this shift happen? Some scientists propose that dark energy isn't constant. Instead, it might vary over time. If it changes, what causes it to change? Could future observations reveal a pattern in how dark energy evolves? The study of dark matter and dark energy relies on technology. New telescopes and instruments are designed to gather more data. For example, the Vera C. Rubin Observatory aims to map dark matter in galaxies. Will it provide new insights? The mysteries of dark matter and dark energy remain unsolved. They challenge our understanding of physics and the universe itself. Could solving these puzzles reveal even deeper questions? Only time and continued exploration will tell. What happens when a star dies? If it's massive enough, it can collapse into something so dense that not even light can escape. This is what we call a black hole. Black holes are one of the most mysterious objects in the universe. But how much do we really know about them? Black holes are formed when gravity wins. 
In a massive star, the outward pressure from nuclear fusion balances the inward pull of gravity. But when the star runs out of fuel, this balance breaks. Gravity pulls the star inward until it collapses into a single point called a singularity. The singularity is a place where density becomes infinite. Time and space as we understand them no longer work there. But what does this mean? Does the singularity truly exist? Or is it a sign that our understanding of physics is incomplete? Surrounding the singularity is the event horizon. This is the boundary of the black hole. Once something crosses the event horizon, it cannot escape. Why? Because the escape velocity, how fast you'd need to travel to get away, is greater than the speed of light. But what happens at the event horizon? To an outside observer, anything falling into a black hole seems to slow down and freeze at the event horizon. The object's light becomes redder and dimmer until it disappears. Does this mean information about the object is lost? One of the biggest puzzles about black holes is the information paradox. According to quantum mechanics, information cannot be destroyed. But when something falls into a black hole, it seems to disappear forever. How can this be reconciled? Some scientists suggest that the information might be stored at the event horizon in a two-dimensional form, like a hologram. This idea is called the holographic principle. If true, it could change how we think about space and time. Black holes come in different sizes. There are stellar black holes formed from collapsing stars. There are also supermassive black holes which exist at the centers of galaxies. These can be millions or billions of times the mass of the sun. But how do they form? Stellar black holes form from stars, but supermassive black holes are much larger. Did they grow by consuming stars and gas over billions of years? Or did they form differently, perhaps from massive clouds of gas in the early universe? There's also a type of black hole called an intermediate mass black hole. These are smaller than supermassive black holes, but larger than stellar ones. They're harder to find and study. Why are they so rare? Another type of black hole is a primordial black hole. These could have formed shortly after the Big Bang from regions of dense matter. If they exist, they might provide clues about the early universe. But so far, no definitive evidence for primordial black holes has been found. Black holes don't just sit quietly in space. They interact with their surroundings. For example, when a black hole pulls in gas or stars, the material forms a disk around it. This is called an accretion disk. The material in the disk heats up and emits energy, often in the form of X-rays. But why does the material form a disk? Why doesn't it fall straight into the black hole? The answer lies in angular momentum. The gas and stars orbit the black hole, creating the disk. Over time, friction and other forces cause the material to spiral inward. Sometimes, black holes shoot out jets of energy these jets can stretch across vast distances, far beyond the size of the black hole itself. What causes these jets? How do black holes, which pull everything inward, also send energy outward? Another mystery involves black hole mergers. When two black holes collide, they form a single larger black hole. This process releases energy in the form of gravitational waves. These waves ripple through space-time and can be detected by instruments like LIGO and Virgo. But what happens inside the black hole after the merger? Gravitational waves have opened a new way to study black holes. Before, we could only observe them indirectly, 
through their effects on nearby stars and gas. Now, we can listen to them through the waves they produce. What else might we learn from these waves? One of the strangest ideas about black holes is that they might connect to other regions of space and time. This idea is called a wormhole. A wormhole is a theoretical tunnel that could link distant parts of the universe. Could black holes be entrances to wormholes? Wormholes are purely theoretical. No evidence supports their existence. But they're interesting because they challenge our understanding of space and time. Could wormholes explain some of the strange properties of black holes? Then there's the question of what happens if you fall into a black hole. From the outside, you'd appear to slow down and freeze at the event horizon. But what would you experience? Would you be stretched and torn apart by the intense gravity? Or would you reach the singularity? Some theories suggest that the singularity might not be the end. Instead, it could lead to another region of space-time. This idea is speculative, but it raises interesting questions. Could black holes be gateways to other universes? Black holes also challenge our understanding of time. Near a black hole, time slows down due to the intense gravity. This effect is called time dilation. But why does time behave this way? Black holes don't last forever. Over time, they lose mass through a process called Hawking radiation. This radiation occurs because of quantum effects near the event horizon. But how does this process work? Hawking radiation suggests that black holes can eventually evaporate completely. But if they disappear, what happens to the information they contained? Does it get released or is it gone forever? Studying black holes requires powerful tools. Telescopes like the Event Horizon Telescope capture images of black hole shadows. These images help scientists understand how black holes interact with light and matter. But how much can we learn from these images? Black holes are not just isolated objects. They influence their surroundings. For example, Supermassive black holes at the centers of galaxies affect how those galaxies evolve. There are still many unanswered questions about black holes. Each discovery leads to more mysteries. What will we find as we continue exploring these strange objects? Only further research can reveal the answers. Is Earth the only place in the universe with life? This question has intrigued humans for centuries. To find an answer, scientists look beyond our solar system to planets orbiting other stars. These are called exoplanets. But how do we find them? Exoplanets are too far away to see directly with most telescopes. They don't emit their own light and the light from their stars often hides them. So scientists use indirect methods to detect them. One common method is the transit method. When an exoplanet passes in front of its star, it blocks a small amount of the star's light. This causes the star to appear dimmer for a short time. By observing these dips in brightness, scientists can determine the planet's size and orbit. But what if a planet doesn't pass in front of its star? How do we find those? Another method is the radial velocity technique. As a planet orbits its star, its gravity causes the star to wobble slightly. This wobble changes the light from the star in a measurable way. By studying these changes, scientists can detect the planet. Once an exoplanet is found, the next question is, could it support life? Scientists focus on planets in the habitable zone, also called the Goldilocks zone. This is the region around a star where temperatures are just right for liquid water to exist. But is water 
the only requirement for life? Some exoplanets are rocky, like Earth. Others are gas giants, like Jupiter. Then there are super-Earths, which are larger than Earth but smaller than Neptune. Each type presents unique challenges and possibilities for hosting life. But which types are most likely to have the right conditions? Scientists also study a planet's atmosphere. The gases in an atmosphere can reveal a lot about the planet. For example, the presence of oxygen or methane might suggest biological activity. How do we study atmospheres from so far away? One method is spectroscopy. When light from a star passes through a planet's atmosphere, the atmosphere absorbs certain wavelengths. By studying this light, scientists can identify the gases present. But what if the signals are too faint to detect? Another challenge is distinguishing between natural processes and biological ones. For example, methane can be produced by both volcanoes and living organisms. How can we tell the difference? Not all exoplanets are in the habitable zone. Some are much closer to their stars and experience extreme heat. Others are far away and frozen. Could life exist in these harsh environments? On Earth, life exists in some of the most extreme places, from deep ocean vents to icy polar regions. This has led scientists to consider the possibility of life on exoplanets with extreme conditions. But would it be life as we know it, or something completely different? Some exoplanets orbit stars very different from our Sun. For example, red dwarf stars are smaller and cooler than the Sun. They are the most common type of star in the galaxy. Could planets around red dwarfs support life? Red dwarfs often have strong solar flares that could strip a planet's atmosphere. But some scientists think life could still exist underground or in oceans. How would we detect such life? There's also the question of time. Life on Earth took billions of years to evolve. If we find a planet with the right conditions, how likely is it that life has had enough time to develop there? The search for exoplanets raises another question. How many are there? Current estimates suggest there are billions of exoplanets in our galaxy alone. But how many are similar to Earth? The Kepler Space Telescope revolutionized our understanding of exoplanets. It discovered thousands of them, revealing that planets are common. Now, telescopes like the James Webb Space Telescope are taking the search further. What might they find? One of the most exciting discoveries would be a planet with biosignatures evidence of life. But what counts as a biosignature? Could we mistake something else for a sign of life? Even if we find a planet with signs of life, how would we communicate? The distances between stars are so vast that any message would take years or centuries to travel. Would we recognize a signal from another civilization? Some scientists focus on technosignatures, which are signs of advanced technology. These could include radio signals, artificial light, or other detectable markers. Have we already received such signals and not recognized them? The discovery of exoplanets also raises philosophical questions. If we find life elsewhere, what does that mean for humanity? Would it change how we see ourselves and our place in the universe? Exoplanets are incredibly diverse. Some are so close to their stars that their surfaces are molten. Others are tidally locked, meaning one side always faces the star while the other remains in darkness. How does this affect the possibility of life? Some exoplanets might have moons, similar to how Jupiter and Saturn have moons in our solar system. Could these moons be habitable? After all, in our own solar system, 
moons like Europa and Celadus have subsurface oceans. The search for exoplanets is still in its early stages. We've only scratched the surface of what's out there. What surprises might the universe hold as we continue to explore? What is time? Is it a constant flow? Or is it something more complex? From the moment we wake up to the second we fall asleep, time governs our lives. But how well do we understand it? Time feels straightforward. Seconds turn into minutes. Minutes into hours. But when scientists study time, they discover that it's not so simple. Albert Einstein's theory of relativity showed that time can change. It can speed up or slow down depending on the situation. For example, time runs slower near a massive object like a star or a planet. This effect is called gravitational time dilation. Why does this happen? It's because gravity bends space and time. The stronger the gravity, the more time slows down. This has been tested with experiments. Scientists placed precise clocks on airplanes and compared them to clocks on the ground. The clocks on the airplanes ran slightly faster. How can something as steady as time behave this way? Then there's the question of the arrow of time. Time seems to flow in one direction from the past to the future. But why? The laws of physics don't require time to flow this way. Could time flow backward in some situations? The arrow of time is often linked to entropy. Entropy measures disorder in a system. Over time, entropy increases. For example, a glass shatters into many pieces but never reassembles itself. Could entropy be the reason we experience time moving forward? Now consider space. We think of space as a vast, empty area where objects exist. But space is not truly empty. It's filled with energy and it can bend, stretch, and twist. How does this affect our understanding of the universe? Space and time are linked. Together, they form what scientists call space-time. In space-time, events happen in four dimensions, three for space and one for time. But why are space and time connected? Black holes offer a glimpse into the strange nature of space-time. Near a black hole, space and time behave differently. Time slows down and space is warped. Could this warping reveal deeper secrets about the structure of the universe? Another mystery is the concept of the multiverse. Some theories suggest that our universe is just one of many. If true, each universe could have its own version of space and time. Could there be universes where time flows differently or doesn't exist at all? There's also the question of whether time has a beginning or an end. Did time start with the Big Bang? If so, what came before it? Some scientists believe time might not exist outside our universe. Others suggest time could be infinite. In physics, time is often treated as a dimension, similar to length, width, and height. But is time truly a dimension, or is it something else? Some theories suggest that time might emerge from deeper physical laws. What could those laws be? Quantum mechanics adds more puzzles to our understanding of time. In the quantum world, particles don't follow a simple timeline. They can exist in multiple states at once, and their behavior is unpredictable. How does this fit with the idea of time as a steady flow? One concept in quantum mechanics is superposition. A particle can be in multiple places at the same time until it's observed. Does this mean time itself is not fixed 
until we measure it? Another idea is that time might be an illusion. Some scientists propose that time is not fundamental. Instead, it could emerge from the way we perceive the universe. If true, what does this say about our understanding of reality? Time travel is another fascinating topic. The idea of moving through time has been explored in science fiction for decades. But could it be possible in real life? Einstein's equations allow for the possibility of time travel under certain conditions. For example, traveling close to the speed of light could cause time to slow down for the traveler. But could we travel backward in time? One theory involves wormholes. These are hypothetical tunnels in space-time that could connect distant points. If wormholes exist, they might allow for time travel. But how could we create or stabilize a wormhole? Time loops are another possibility. These occur when events repeat themselves. In some theories, time loops could exist naturally in space-time. But if time loops are real, could they create paradoxes? Paradoxes are a major challenge for time travel. For example, the grandfather paradox asks, what happens if you travel back in time and prevent your own existence? How could the timeline resolve such a contradiction? Even without time travel, time behaves strangely in different parts of the universe. Near a massive object, time slows down. In deep space, far from gravity, time speeds up. Could there be regions of the universe where time behaves in ways we can't imagine? Some scientists explore the possibility of timelessness. In this view, time doesn't flow. Instead, all moments exist simultaneously, like pages in a book. Could this explain some of the mysteries of time? Space also holds its share of mysteries. For example, why is the universe so large? The observable universe spans billions of light years, yet it's just a fraction of the total universe. What lies beyond what we can see? The expansion of the universe raises another question. Space is stretching, causing galaxies to move apart. But what is space expanding into? Does it have a boundary, or is it infinite? Some theories suggest that space is curved. On small scales, space appears flat. But on larger scales, it might curve, similar to the surface of a sphere. Could the shape of space reveal hidden dimensions? There's also the mystery of quantum foam. On the smallest scales, space is not smooth. Instead, it's thought to be a chaotic, fluctuating foam. How does this quantum nature of space affect the larger universe? Scientists are also puzzled by the connection between space, time, and gravity. Einstein showed that gravity is the bending of space-time. But why does space-time bend? What is the fundamental cause of gravity? Another question is whether space and time can be separated. In our everyday experience, they seem distinct. But in the universe, they're deeply connected. Could we ever study one without the other? As we explore space and time, we uncover more questions than answers. What secrets will the universe reveal as we continue to investigate its fundamental nature? Do we really think we're alone in the universe? It's one of the biggest questions humanity has ever faced. Despite all the stars, planets, and galaxies out there, we still haven't found any evidence of other life forms. Why is that? Could it be that we're not looking in the right way? Or is the answer much more complicated? In 1950, physicist Enrico Fermi asked a simple yet profound question if the universe is so vast and old, with billions of stars and planets, why haven't we seen any aliens? This question is known as the 
Fermi paradox. The paradox becomes even more puzzling when we consider how old the universe is. There has been more than enough time for intelligent civilizations to develop, explore, and even colonize other star systems. Yet, we haven't detected any clear signs of them. One possible explanation is that intelligent life is extremely rare. Maybe the conditions that allow life to emerge are so specific that they almost never happen. Another idea is that civilizations don't last long. They might destroy themselves with wars, resource depletion, or environmental collapse before they can explore the stars. But what if we are simply missing the evidence? Could alien civilizations be communicating in ways we don't understand? For instance, they might use technologies far beyond anything we can imagine. What if their messages are hidden in dimensions we can't access? In 2017, astronomers noticed a strange object passing through our solar system. They named it Oumuamua, which means scout in Hawaiian. This object didn't look or behave like anything we'd seen before. Most comets and asteroids follow predictable paths, but Oumuamua didn't. It had an unusual shape, like a long, thin cigar, and it moved in a way that didn't match the effects of gravity alone. Some scientists suggested it might be an alien probe sent to study our solar system. Of course, there are more natural explanations too. It could be a chunk of debris from another star system. But why was its shape so unusual? Why didn't it leave a trail like most comets? Could there be more interstellar visitors like Oumuamua that we've missed? We've found thousands of exoplanets, planets that orbit stars outside our solar system. Some of them are in what we call the habitable zone, where conditions might allow liquid water to exist. Water is crucial for life as we know it, so these planets are prime targets in the search for extraterrestrial life. Scientists look for biosignature signs that life might exist on these planets. This could include specific gases like oxygen or methane in the atmosphere, which are often produced by living organisms. But detecting these gases is not easy. Our telescopes can only gather tiny amounts of data from distant planets. Even if we find something that looks like a biosignature, it's hard to be certain. For example, methane can also be produced by geological processes, not just life. Could we mistake a lifeless planet for one teeming with life? On the other hand, what if we've already seen biosignatures but don't recognize them? Life on other planets might not look anything like life on Earth. Could we miss alien life simply because we don't know what to look for? As humans advance, we rely more and more on technology. Some scientists think advanced alien civilizations might do the same. Over time, they could even transition from biological beings to entirely technological ones. Post-biological civilizations might exist as artificial intelligences, living in virtual worlds or controlling robotic bodies. If so, they might have little interest in communicating with us. Could this explain why we haven't detected any signs of aliens? A post-biological civilization would also use energy and resources very differently from us. They might build massive structures to harvest energy from their stars, known as Dyson Spheres. But so far, we haven't seen evidence of such structures. Does this mean they don't exist? Or are we simply looking in the wrong places? Another idea is that alien civilizations don't want to be found. They might be hiding to avoid detection by more advanced and potentially hostile civilizations. This idea is called the zoo hypothesis. According to this hypothesis, aliens might observe us from a distance, like animals in a zoo. 
They might be waiting for us to reach a certain level of technological or social development before making contact. But why would they wait? What are they hoping to see? Some people believe that aliens visited Earth in the past and left behind evidence, such as ancient structures or strange artifacts. But there's no solid proof of this. Most claims of ancient alien evidence can be explained by natural or human-made causes. Still, the idea raises an interesting question. If intelligent aliens did visit Earth long ago, would we be able to recognize their traces today? Could we be looking right at the evidence without realizing it? With all these possibilities, one thing is clear, the search for alien life is far from over. Are we looking in the wrong places? Using the wrong methods? Or are we truly alone in this vast universe? The answers to these questions could redefine our understanding of life, the universe, and our place within it. As technology improves and we explore further, will we finally find the evidence we've been searching for? Or will the mystery of extraterrestrial life remain one of the universe's greatest unanswered questions? The universe is full of phenomena that defy our understanding. One such mystery is fast radio bursts. These are extremely short bursts of radio waves that come from deep space. They last only a few milliseconds, but release more energy in that time than the sun does in days. Scientists first discovered fast radio bursts in 2007. Since then, hundreds more have been detected, yet their origin remains unknown. Some bursts occur only once, while others repeat. This adds to the confusion about what causes them. Are they the result of natural processes, or could they be something artificial? Some theories suggest fast radio bursts might come from highly magnetized neutron stars called magnetars. Others think they could be the result of black holes colliding or even signals from alien civilizations. Despite many observations, the true nature of fast radio bursts remains unclear. Another cosmic mystery is ultra-high energy cosmic rays. These particles travel through space at nearly the speed of light and carry immense energy. They are so powerful that they can travel millions of light years across the universe. When they reach Earth, they interact with our atmosphere creating showers of secondary particles. But where do they come from? The origins of these cosmic rays are still unknown. They could be produced by supermassive black holes, exploding stars, or even processes we have yet to discover. The problem is that these particles don't travel in straight lines. Magnetic fields in space bend their paths making it nearly impossible to trace them back to their source. This has left scientists puzzled about what could generate such high-energy particles. Rogue planets add another layer of mystery to the cosmos. These are planets that don't orbit any star. Instead, they wander through space on their own. Scientists believe there could be billions of rogue planets in our galaxy alone. But how do they form? Some may have been ejected from their original star systems due to gravitational interactions. Others might have formed directly in the cold regions of space, far from any star. Without the light of a star, these planets are incredibly hard to detect. Yet, their existence challenges our understanding of planetary formation. Rogue planets could also have hidden oceans beneath thick layers of ice potentially providing habitats for life. But without a star, how could such life survive? These are questions that remain unanswered. Dark galaxies, 
are another phenomenon that baffles astronomers. These are galaxies that contain very few stars, or none at all. Instead, they are made mostly of dark matter and gas. They don't emit much light, making them extremely difficult to study. Scientists only discovered dark galaxies indirectly by observing their effects on other galaxies. Their existence raises questions about how galaxies form and evolve. Why do some galaxies fail to produce stars? What role does dark matter play in shaping them? Dark galaxies could hold clues about the earliest stages of galaxy formation, but studying them is a challenge due to their faint nature. Advances in telescope technology may help us learn more about these mysterious objects in the future. The universe is vast and filled with enigmas that push the boundaries of our understanding. Each discovery brings new questions, revealing how much we still have to learn about the cosmos. As we continue to explore, these unknown phenomena remind us of the complexity and wonder of the universe. The ultimate fate of the universe is a question that has puzzled scientists for generations. There are several possibilities, and each one depends on the properties of the universe, like its overall shape, energy content, and the behavior of dark energy. One scenario is the heat death of the universe. In this future, the universe continues to expand forever. Over time, stars burn out, galaxies drift apart, and matter becomes spread so thin that no new stars can form. Eventually, even black holes evaporate through a process called Hawking radiation. What remains is a cold, dark universe where no processes can occur because there is no usable energy left. Another possibility is the Big Rip. This theory suggests that the universe's expansion might not just continue, but accelerate to the point where it tears everything apart. Galaxies, stars, and even atoms would eventually be ripped apart by the relentless expansion of space. The timing of this scenario depends on how the mysterious force of dark energy behaves. If dark energy grows stronger over time, it could overpower all other forces, leading to the Big Rip. However, scientists still don't fully understand dark energy, so this idea remains speculative. The role of black holes in the universe's fate is another area of interest. Black holes are regions of space where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. Over time, they could play a significant part in recycling matter and energy in the universe. When stars and gas fall into black holes, they emit enormous amounts of energy in the form of radiation. Some theories suggest that black holes could eventually dominate the universe as the only remaining objects. They might also help us understand fundamental questions about space and time as they are regions where the known laws of physics break down. There are also hypothetical scenarios that suggest the universe might not have an end at all. One idea is the concept of a cyclic universe. In this model, the universe goes through infinite cycles of expansion and contraction. After one universe ends, a new one could begin, starting with another Big Bang. This theory is appealing because it avoids the need to explain how the universe started from nothing. However, it requires mechanisms that scientists have not yet observed, such as how a universe would transition from contraction to expansion. Some theories propose that the universe could transition into a different state entirely. This idea is based on quantum mechanics which suggests that the universe might exist in a state that is not completely stable. 
If a more stable state exists, the universe could suddenly decay into this new state in an event called vacuum decay. Such an event would completely reshape the laws of physics, destroying everything in the universe as we know it. This process would happen at the speed of light, meaning there would be no warning or way to stop it. Each of these scenarios highlights how much we still don't know about the universe and its ultimate destiny. To determine which of these possibilities is correct, scientists study the cosmos in great detail using advanced telescopes and experiments. These efforts aim to uncover the nature of dark energy, the behavior of black holes, and the conditions that might lead to a cyclic universe or vacuum decay. The fate of the universe is a question that combines the mysteries of space, time, and physics, reminding us of how much there is yet to learn. In 2024, advancements in astronomy and space exploration continue to shed light on the mysteries of the universe. One of the most significant contributions comes from new telescopes equipped with cutting-edge technology. These telescopes are capable of capturing data from parts of the electromagnetic spectrum that were previously inaccessible. For example, Radio telescopes with greater sensitivity allow scientists to detect signals from billions of light years away. Infrared telescopes can peer through clouds of dust and gas, revealing stars and planets in their earliest stages of formation. These instruments provide clearer images of the universe, offering insights into phenomena like the behavior of galaxies and the distribution of dark matter. Artificial intelligence has also become a vital tool in space research. AI algorithms can process enormous amounts of data faster and more accurately than humans. For instance, AI is used to analyze data from telescopes, identifying patterns that might indicate the presence of planets, black holes, or other cosmic features. Machine learning models are also used to predict how stars evolve or how galaxies interact over time. This technology is helping scientists make discoveries that would have been impossible to detect manually, saving time and resources in the process. The James Webb Space Telescope continues to deliver groundbreaking results. Its ability to observe in the infrared spectrum allows it to study objects that are too faint or distant for other telescopes. In 2024, it has provided detailed observations of exoplanet atmospheres, giving scientists a better understanding of their composition. It has also captured images of the earliest galaxies that formed after the Big Bang, helping researchers piece together the history of the universe. These observations challenge some existing theories about how galaxies form and evolve, prompting scientists to reconsider their models. Another area of focus in 2024 is the search for signs of life beyond Earth. New missions are targeting planets and moons in our solar system that could harbor conditions suitable for life. For example, missions to icy moons like Europa and Enceladus aim to investigate their subsurface oceans, which could contain the chemical ingredients for life. On Mars, rovers equipped with advanced instruments are analyzing soil and rock samples for traces of past or present life. Beyond our solar system, researchers are using telescopes to search for biosignatures, such as oxygen or methane, in the atmospheres of exoplanets. Emerging theories in cosmology are also gaining attention. Some scientists are exploring ideas that challenge the conventional understanding of dark matter and dark energy. For instance, alternative models suggest that these phenomena might not exist as separate entities, but could be explained by modifications to the laws of gravity. Other theories propose that dark energy might be linked to quantum fluctuations in empty space. 
These ideas are being tested through observations and experiments, pushing the boundaries of what we know about the universe. New methods for observing gravitational waves are another highlight of 2024. These waves, which are ripples in the fabric of space-time, are created by massive cosmic events like the collision of black holes. Advances in technology have made it possible to detect weaker signals from more distant sources. This allows scientists to study a wider range of events, such as the mergers of neutron stars or the collapse of massive stars. Gravitational wave astronomy is becoming a powerful tool for understanding the universe in ways that were not possible before. While these developments provide valuable insights, they also raise new questions. Observations from telescopes and experiments often reveal unexpected results, challenging scientists to refine their theories. For example, some galaxies appear to form stars at rates that current models cannot explain. Similarly, the distribution of matter in the universe sometimes deviates from predictions. These anomalies suggest that there is still much to learn about the underlying processes that govern the cosmos. Each breakthrough builds on previous knowledge while paving the way for future research. As technology advances and new methods are developed, the quest to understand the universe becomes more precise and far-reaching. This ongoing effort reflects humanity's drive to uncover the unknown, one observation at a time. The universe is a vast expanse, one that stretches beyond what the human mind can fully grasp. Its mysteries are as old as time itself, existing long before humanity began to ask questions about the stars and the space between them. These mysteries remind us of how small we are compared to the cosmos and how much we still do not understand about the reality we live in. The pursuit of knowledge about the universe has been a continuous journey filled with discoveries that have reshaped our understanding of existence. Every question answered seems to lead to more questions, creating an endless cycle of exploration. The universe's immense scale challenges our ability to comprehend its structure and behavior. Distances are measured not in miles or kilometers, but in light years, emphasizing the vastness that separates celestial objects. Even the closest stars are so far away that their light takes years to reach us. This immense scale also means that what we observe is often a glimpse into the distant past. When we look at a galaxy millions of light years away, we are seeing it as it was millions of years ago. The universe is both a time machine and a reminder of how limited our perspective can be. The processes that govern the universe are equally complex. Stars form from clouds of gas, burn for billions of years, and then die, often in spectacular explosions. These stellar events create the elements that make up planets, living organisms, and everything else. The cycle of birth and death in the universe is a constant, yet it raises questions about the forces that drive it. Gravity, dark matter, and dark energy play roles in shaping the cosmos, but their exact nature remains a puzzle. Scientists continue to study these forces hoping to uncover the laws that govern the universe's behavior. The search for extraterrestrial life adds another layer of mystery. The conditions that allow life to exist are rare. Yet the universe is so vast that the possibility of life elsewhere seems likely. From the icy moons of our solar system to the distant exoplanets orbiting other stars, the search for life is a central focus of modern astronomy. The discovery of even the simplest forms of life beyond Earth would be one of the most profound findings in human history. It would confirm that we are not alone and that life can emerge in places far removed from our planet. 
Technological advances have made it possible to explore the universe in ways that were unimaginable just decades ago. Telescopes on Earth and in space provide detailed images of distant galaxies, nebulae, and star clusters. Spacecraft have visited planets, moons, and even comets, sending back data that deepens our understanding of the solar system. Yet, even with these tools, much of the universe remains hidden. Some regions are obscured by clouds of gas and dust, while others are so far away that their light has not yet reached us. The limitations of our technology remind us of how much there is still to discover. The study of time and its connection to the universe is another area of great intrigue. Time flows in one direction, from past to future, but the reasons for this are not fully understood. Phenomena like time dilation, where time slows down under certain conditions, show that time is not as straightforward as it seems. The relationship between time and space, as described by Einstein's theory of relativity, is key to understanding the universe. Yet, questions about the origin of time and its ultimate nature remain unanswered, highlighting the complexity of the cosmos. The concept of infinity also challenges our understanding. Is the universe infinite, or does it have a boundary? If it does have a limit, what lies beyond it? These questions touch on the fundamental nature of reality itself. Infinity is a concept that defies human experience, yet it is central to many theories about the universe. Whether we are dealing with the infinite size of space or the endless possibilities of parallel universes, the idea of infinity pushes the boundaries of what we can comprehend. The mysteries of the universe are not just scientific questions. They're also deeply philosophical. They force us to confront our place in the cosmos and consider what it means to exist. Why is there something rather than nothing? What is the purpose of the universe, if it has one? These are questions that science cannot answer, but that continue to inspire curiosity and wonder. They remind us that the search for knowledge is not just about finding answers, but about asking the right questions. Exploration is an essential part of human nature. From ancient astronomers who first mapped the stars to modern scientists who study the universe with advanced tools, the desire to understand the cosmos has always been a driving force. This desire is what pushes us to look beyond our planet, to send spacecraft to other worlds, and to build telescopes that can peer into the depths of space. The discoveries we make are not just scientific achievements, they are milestones in humanity's journey to understand its place in the universe. The universe is both a source of answers and a source of questions. It challenges us to think beyond our everyday experiences and to imagine possibilities that seem beyond reach. It is a reminder of the complexity of reality and the limits of our understanding. But it is also a testament to human ingenuity and curiosity. The quest to uncover the mysteries of the cosmos is one of the greatest endeavors of our species, a journey that continues to inspire and unite us in the pursuit of knowledge. And with this, we are ending our video. If you enjoyed diving into these mind-bending ideas, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're ready for more deep dives into the wonders of the cosmos, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss a thing. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.